coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers. Innovative news program set to lead Sun and Fun 2023. EAA Ultralight Webinars return February 21st. First customer built Scale Wings SW51 takes to German skies. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our new programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sport Plane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Innovative news program set to lead Sun & Fun 2023. It may be the news event of 2023. The Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is proud to present as the lead-in to the aviation year via its partnership with the Aero News Network, the 2023 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. The aviation world is driven by new developments in technology, design, and innovation, and focusing the entire Aeroverse at the beginning of the year on all that is cool, interesting, innovative, important, and pivotal is the ultimate aim of the 2023 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. Featuring up to 20 carefully selected presenters, the massive webcast will air live Tuesday morning, March 28th at 10.30 ET and feature over 20 major companies and organizations with a synopsis of what they are showcasing at Sun & Fun. Each innovation presenter will be featured in individual, no more than five minute snippets, one per company, and will feature only Sun & Fun exhibitors and vendors with new products and programs to announce or otherwise to be seen for the first time in 2023. More information will be released shortly, but so far we're seeing some stunning new planes, products, and programs ready to be announced at this pivotal news event. The program will air in several venues, but Airborne-Live.net and SNFDD-Live.com will serve as primary conduits. And after the break, Rutan's Long Easy donated to Oshkosh Museum. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Rutan's Long Easy donated to Oshkosh Museum. One of Dick Rutan's babies made its way to be immortalized in the Experimental Aircraft Association Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Rutan's aircraft, a Long Easy, joins his longtime friend Mike Melville's own record-setting Long Easy in the museum's collection. The aircraft were built simultaneously at the Mojave Airport by both men before embarking on their maiden voyages together. Rutan felt it was only appropriate to bring the old friends back together. Sonic's webinar addresses inaugural highway model. Sonic's aircraft announced in August 2021 that it would produce its first high-wing aircraft. Prosaically dubbed the Sonex Aircraft High Wing, the machine was designed to appeal to the high wing enthusiast by offering expanded utility and ease of pilot access in a nimble, stylish package. A Tuesday webinar updated all with a progress report on the program. The new high wing is slated to weigh 720 pounds empty, but offer a generous MG tow of 1,320 pounds. It should be noted, however, that aerobatic flight in the model is only approved when the aircraft is flown solo at a gross weight under 1,050 pounds. Aspen Avionics receives approval for Promax PFD GFC 600 combo. Aspen Avionics obtained approval from the FAA for new software enabling integration of a handful of autopilots with their EFD 1000 Promax PFD. The approval covers the GFC 600 digital autopilot, improving single pilot operation with streamlined control flows and PFD integration. In addition to the GFC 600 approval, the Aspen PFD gains selected altitude support for both TRIO and Bendix King AeroCruise 100 autopilots, as well as extended runway center lines on the MFD 500 1000 Max multifunction displays. Gamma and friends urge EPA not to rush on unleaded Avgas. A group of seven aviation stakeholder organizations has formally submitted their comments to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, proposed endangerment finding of lead in Avgas. Leaded avgas has become a pressure point in the industry, allowing those hostile to the presence of general aviation in their communities to force out light aircraft use under the auspices of public health. 
The Seven Strong Coalition issued its comments supporting the widespread removal of lead from Avgas, but urged policymakers to thoroughly evaluate their options before removing Avgas from the system. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. EAA Ultralight Webinars return February 21st. The EAA's virtual Ultralight Day webinars return this year, running from February 21st to 23rd. The online seminars will allow experts from the Ultralight community to share some of their bountiful experience at no cost, with 15 sessions spanning a wide gamut of Ultralight-themed material. The three-day event will see five webinars per day, drawing from the same highly successful format used for other banner content from the EAA. This year will mark the second year for EAA Virtual Ultralight Days, adding to the Sport Aviation Library alongside EAA Home Builders Week and their growing compendium of online content. Tim Bogenhagen, EAA Ultralight and Light Plane Community Manager, said, quote, Ultralight flying continues to be one of the purest and most accessible ways to enjoy aviation. EAA Virtual Ultralight Days is a way to make our community stronger, safer, and more fun, end quote. Ultralight Days topics will include how to get started in ultralights, how-to instructions on a variety of ultralight aircraft like fixed wing, powered parachutes, powered paragliders, helicopters, and weight shift trikes, and overall informative topics on maintenance, airport operations, safety inspections, and more. Sessions are available free of charge while streaming live, but replays of the archived presentations are limited to EAA members. Pre-registration is advised. And after these messages, first customer built Scale Wings SW51 takes to German skies. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. First customer built Scale Wings SW51 takes to German skies. On February 5th, 2023, Scale Wings announced SW51 serial number 4 had made its maiden flight into the skies of Germany. The flight marked an important milestone in the Scale Wings SW51 Mustang program and occasioned the first flight of an SW51 assembled by a customer under the company's Build Assist program, appositely dubbed Build Your Legend. Serial number 4 is the first SW51 to receive German registration. The SW51's design features a full cantilever low wing and a two tandem seat cockpit enclosed beneath a bubble canopy evocative of North America's P51D and subsequent iterations of the Mustang. The SW51 is powered by a single forward-mounted 141 horsepower air and liquid-cooled four-cylinder four-stroke Rotax 915IS turbocharged engine driving either a three-bladed DUC Elysius Carbon Fiber CS fixed pitch or four-blade variable pitch tractor propeller. The variable pitch drivetrain motivates the 1,653-pound machine to a VNE of 216 knots and climb rates better than 1,500 feet per minute. Standard SW51 kits are priced at approximately $138,000 and include fuselage, center wing, outer wings, empennage, control surfaces and actuation systems, landing gear, seats, and fuel system. Optional additional equipment includes, but is not limited to, firewall forward kit including Rotax 915IS and MT4 blade propeller, avionics kit including Dynan HDX or G3X suites, and GRS Galaxy's ballistic rescue system. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.